up YouTube, it's me Sarah and today we're going to be testing the pH of my skincare products. So I actually got this idea from watching a YouTube video of Dr. Whitney Bow. She was on Rachel Ray's show and on the show she was going over different ingredients in the products that we use whether it's hair related or skincare related and one of the segments on the show talked about how to test the pH of your skincare products to make sure that it was helping actually balance the pH of your skin which I never knew I never thought about doing so it just kind of sparked an idea for me and I was like you know what maybe I should go through my skincare products and make sure that the pH is optimal when it comes to helping prevent breakouts or treating acne. So off of a quick Google search, I was like, okay, what is the best or optimal pH for your skin that you want to maintain? And through various articles, the best pH that you do want to aim for around the range is around 5.5 to 6. So you want it to be slightly acidic, but you don't want it to be too acidic to where it causes more damage and it can actually really hurt your skin. And you don't want it to be too basic. And I was able to find these here. So it says pH test paper. And it's from the pH scale of 1 to 14, so 1 being the most acidic and then 14 being the most basic. So when I open it here, what I love about it is that it actually shows you what the colors mean and what the pH is. So really, really cool. These are your strips. So it's really simple, really easy. There's also an explanation on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I tested the pH of my products and basically the results of it. Alright everybody, so I have my products here. I have the pH paper here. I have my three <laughs> main products that I put on my face after I cleanse my skin. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with my serum. And basically you just want to peel a piece of paper off. Okay. So now I'm just going to get a little bit That's basically it. So now it's just a waiting game. I'm gonna go to wait and see what the test results are. So <laughs> I think that I messed up on my first ones. On the left of these, the right, I put a little bit less of the product on there and to see if there would be a difference. So far the only result that I'm getting is my night cream. This one, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one actually looks a little kind of like a light green so when I look at my indicator it's honestly in between like this one and this one so it's between seven and eight so it's slightly basic not anything that's super crazy though um, but yeah that's kind of what my night cream is falling under all right everyone I am back I gave it a pretty good amount of time for it to sit just to see the results obviously these two are <laughs> probably not the best <laughs> to take a look at or to reference so I'm gonna go out and take a look at these this strip right here is for the ordinaries niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% and this strip right here is for the ordinaries 100% organic cold-pressed rosehip seed oil if y'all can't tell it's actually basically around the five so I'm getting a light kind of a light orange but not too light so it's around five to six and for this one I'm getting basically the same thing I'm getting around like an, a light orange so between five and six so these two are good so these are within the ranges that I need them to be when it comes to skincare and maintaining a good pH and this one here, again, I was getting maybe around a 7, maybe a little less than a 7 because it's a light green, but um, not quite that same shade. So it's maybe around a 6 to a 7. So not too bad either. So this just proves that the products that I use on my face have really, really benefited my skin. And um, basically, they're within the pH range that I need them to be. 
Alright, and that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that y'all found this to be as informative as I did whenever I came across this topic in that YouTube video. I just think it's a really cool idea um, and it's really helpful, you know. You never know if you're actually balancing the pH of your skin or if you're not and um, it's just it's so important especially when it comes to clearing your skin or treating your acne or maintaining that clear skin if you already have clear skin. Thank you again so much for watching everybody and if you haven't already make sure to check the description down below. I have links to my blog as well as my Instagram. I would just love to connect with every single one of you. Those are just different platforms for me to be able to do that. Stay tuned. I post every single Monday.